Hello, welcome back to episode 564 of the Journey Through Games, playing almost every Super Nintendo game released in Europe and the US, just missing out the sports games, and today we are playing Tom and Jerry. Da -da, da -da. One player or two player, that's interesting. It's a 16-bit platformer. Hmm. So you can throw like straight or you can throw like lob it. seem to move left or right on that or up or down sorry Is that the end of the first level? Cheese bits. Okay, so that's how that works. Um, <clears throat> It, it, it is interesting how, because of the success of Super Mario, it seems almost like the uh, platformer was the default game on the Super Nintendo. Do you know what I mean? Like, it's almost, I guess because developers have always been chasing what's successful, so there was a period when... Uh, uh, Call of Duty was the most successful game in the world so everything was a first person shooter or a military inspired first person shooter with sort of RPG multiplayer mechanics why can't I get up there Hmm. 
consume that red. And just seem to manage it then. It's one of those, I would say, it's like an inoffensive platformer. Oh no. Am I going back? Yes, I think I am. I like it, it it's not <clears throat> it's not terrible. But again, there's just nothing really it doesn't seem like there's anything special about it, anything to really recommend it. Let's give this one last go. Right, you know, I'm not enthused about playing it. That seemed like a leap of faith, didn't it? Absolutely. Turn around, didn't he? I knew that was coming. Oh no.
done it. Right, yeah, that'll do it for Tom and Jerry. It's one of them, uh, like, inoffensive platformers, you know. I think if you really like Tom and Jerry and you got it for Christmas, you, you wouldn't be too upset. But it's just, I would say, there's just nothing really about it that makes it, like, recommend-worthy. Like... Oh dear. Yeah, um, that'll do it for this episode. Uh, Tom and Jerry, it's an alright platformer. Uh, I suppose in, when it comes to movie tie-ins or TV tie-ins, it's 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 above average for a move for a TV tie-in. Um, no, I would say it's average for a TV tie-in. Unfortunately, there's just a lot of them that are so bad. But yeah, that'll do it for this episode. I'll see you guys next time.